Currently what they would do is, is start with a solid block of metal and uh, machine that away until they wound up with something that looks like this. In the process of doing so, they'd probably take about 90% of that material that they paid for and uh, turn it into chips, which would have to be recycled. Uh, we can print something relatively quickly. There's some prep time to feed it into the machine. You have to take that file, feed it into the machine. There's sometimes support structure that may be required, all of which is done automatically, and we just sort of manage it to make sure that it makes sense. We push the button, typically we'll go home for the evening. The machine will run overnight and come into the morning, and uh, the parts will be printed. There's some, a little bit of cleanup that may be required, but you know, the worst case scenario is you're looking at maybe two, three days, for, especially for small objects like this. Well, when we actually talk to the guy who actually does the testing, you know, which is a critical part of the design process, actually getting to talk to that person, uh, he gave us quite a bit of feedback. Uh, probably feedback that it had been taken into account in the design in the first place. So we were able to get first-hand uh, anecdotal uh, evidence on uh, how they use the devices at sea, what they're used for, how they work, what they do. And uh, so we were able to take that advice, turn back around and do a second iteration, in which case we can provide a very minimal design all the way to something that's a little bit more complicated. But some, one of the ones that we'll come up with will have the least amount of material involved in it. And there will be other ones which have much more design features on it. So it would be up to them to decide which one is, is going to uh, be best suited to what they're trying to do.